All right, Sorry, Mr. Fans, another re-review from my previous channel. Venom. Let's check it out. Movie starts out with a little kid. He's going to school. Little kid was Philip. He's a rich kid. Oliver Reed is the chauffeur. Susan George is a like a maid, housekeeper. They're going to kidnap him. Now she just got this job. She's basically trying to tempt him to join the plan to kidnap. That's the way to do it. Susan George is in cahoots with Jack Mel. Played by Klaus Kinski. They're basically going to kidnap Philip and ransom him off to his parents. Now the parents are gone. That's Philip's grandfather. Philip was going to a pet store to pick up a pet snake. They apparently gave him the wrong snake, though. They gave Philip a deadly black mamba and they gave this toxicology place the pet snake. I will wait here for 10 minutes. After that, you can find me at home and you'll leave me. And I'll make you hurry. You see, depending on where he was bitten, the boy could be dead within minutes and no amount of anti-venom on God's earth could save him. So Susan George actually helps him open up his snake and of course, it comes out and bites her. Black Mamba is about the deadliest snake in the world. Kidnapping is on. So she's dying. The police come there because uh, they're trying to warn them about the snake. And Oliver Reed sees the cop, he panics. Susan George basically convulses and dies. Well, the shotgun death of the officer sends other cops there. I didn't hear you. Now we have a hostage situation. I have a boy in here. Meanwhile, that black mamba snake is uh, roaming the apartment. Grandpa's in the house with the boy, too. They're trying to search for the Mamba. The snake has slithered its way into the heating ducts. They actually used a real black mamba for this movie. But Doctor, could you tell me, if someone gets bitten, what are the chances they'll live? 
A doctor was brought in because uh, Klaus Kinski said uh, there was somebody inside who got bit, so they were going to put her on the porch. But it's just a ruse to get another kidnap victim. Our snake makes an appearance in the liquor cabinet. There's a hole in the back and it's going to escape through it. How the hell are we gonna get in there? Kidnappers send the cops a finger to show that they mean business. It's probably from Susan George, actually. I want snow notes. Swiss francs. Dollars. Old ones, no bigger than a ten. You're on the marks. We have work gun on it. Cops got the blueprints to the house and figured out there was probably an old service entrance that was covered up in the back. They were right. As they question Grandpa, Snake makes an appearance. Ala Ravid is uh, very injured, and then there's a the thing that nightmares are made of. <laughs> Nearing the end of our film here now. Klaus gets it. Eventually a shootout occurs. He's killed. The snake is killed. And eventually they both fall. The snake is dead. Bad guys are dead. Children is rescued. Grandpa's rescued, but... Our snake left an egg, which is hatched. All right, let's talk about this movie called Venom. Venom, I reviewed this on my previous channel about five years ago. It was the first time I'd ever seen it, although I've owned this DVD probably for 20 years. Never actually watched it. I do remember this was an old cable movie. It showed up on cable on like HBO Showtime, the movie channel, back in the early 80s, although, again, I never watched it back then either. But uh, I was aware of its existence. But anyway... The movie is about, um, takes place somewhere in Britain. There's this wealthy kid, 10 years old, or his parents are wealthy anyway, and uh, Klaus Kinski is a kidnapper, and he decides he's going to kidnap this kid and ransom him. So he has a relationship with Susan George, who gets a job as this uh, family's maid, so she's kind of on the inside there. And the maid kind of seduces the, um, uh, the, the driver, their limo driver, or chauffeur, and to get him on in it, so the three of them conspired. They're going to kidnap this kid. They wait until the parents go out of town. Uh, so only Grandpa is left at home with the kid, and they basically take the kid hostage. Now, what they don't know is that this kid, earlier this day that he's been kidnapped or been taken hostage in his own home, um, he went to the pet store to get a snake. Uh, he was going to get a snake for a pet. Uh, but the snake store screwed up, and they gave him a, a dangerous black mamba. It's like the deadliest venomous snake in the world. That black mamba was supposed to go to this toxicology department somewhere, and they got the pet. So anyway, uh, it, it, they, they basically hold him uh, prisoner in his home. Uh, the snake gets out. It bites Susan George, kills her. And then... Um, uh, once the uh, toxicology place or the, the store or the snake store found out about the mix-up, they send a cop over to the house to uh, warn them about the black mamba in the box. Uh, the cop shows up the door. Uh, Oliver Reed, who's the chauffeur, panics and shoots the cop with a shotgun, kills him. And then uh, the jig is up. Uh, 
uh, the place gets eventually surrounded by cops, and basically the rest of the movie is uh, uh, the little kid, his grandfather, Klaus Kinski, and Oliver Reed hold up in this uh, uh, you know, apartment in downtown London or wherever the hell they are. Meanwhile, of course, there is a snake on the loose slithering around through the uh, the ducks and the vents and everything. And at one point, the snake gets out. It kills Oliver Reed. Um, there's a little try to try to build up a tension a little bit here and there. Eventually, uh, this doctor shows up with some anti venom to uh, they, you know she thinks that uh, somebody got bit inside. Uh, they tell her somebody got bit, so they need help. But it, it was just a ploy by Klaus Kinski to get uh, her to the door, and then he can kidnap her too. So there's four people on the inside. Eventually, as the film progresses, um, the snake gets a hold of um, uh, Klaus Kinski, who's grabbing a hold of the snake. He's getting bit, and he ends up on a balcony screaming, and he ends up falling, and they're shooting him while he's up there. Uh, the snake and uh, Kinski die, and that's pretty much the end of the film. But then we see, we look, uh, we see from a snake's angle, like the snake apparently laid an egg in one of the vents or something, and uh, it hatches, a new baby black mamba comes out, and that's how our movie ends. So anyway, that is Venom. So, uh, boy, you know, it's it's okay. This movie is okay. Uh, no nudity in this movie, a little bit of violence, a couple of snake bites, obviously, but... Um, uh, it started out nice, it ended nice, a little slow in the middle, but, uh, yeah, it's okay. The movie's okay. Apparently I read a little bit about this movie that, um, uh, the director was supposed to be Toby Hooper, and, uh, but, uh, he was, ended up, uh, leaving the set. It sounds like Klaus Kinski was his usual asshole self on set, and apparently Klaus Kinski, uh, uh, takes credit for <laughs> driving Toby Hooper away. The new director apparently couldn't stand Klaus Kinski either. Apparently Oliver Reed and Klaus Kinski didn't get along. And Klaus Kinski was always uh, uh, the subject of pranks from Oliver Reed, who loved just getting them all fired up and everything. So, I don't know. Hell of a set, right? But anyway, that is Venom. Now, I believe this movie is released on Blu-ray, too. I'll leave a link to that down below.